I've got one wildebeest here just kind of traveling. Look at this. Two, three, four. <gasps> They're not stampeding. Oh my god, they all just randomly came in. Oh, this is amazing. Are they coming my way? Oh. My. Freaking. God. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the very beautiful The Hunter Call the Wild. Today we're back out in Verhunga Savannah, and we are going to be looking for the elusive stampede. I know that sounds weird, but I have been hunting here a lot, and I still have not experienced the stampede. Uh, so I really want to check out that. Also, there's been some new DLC that we should be able to make good use of. We actually have stands now. There was never actually stands in this game. Uh, so they released tripod stands, which you can place anywhere. And then we have tree stands as well that you can place on specific trees. Obviously, these trees won't work. They're too bushy. Uh, but if you can find a, a tall, long tree, you should be able to place these as well. So yeah, we're going to use these. Maybe sit out in some of the hot spots where the stampede should hopefully be. And see if we can experience one, because that's one thing we haven't done, and I really want to do it. Alright, so we're ready to rock and roll. Now, where we're going to go today is down where we've actually heard the stampede in the past. We explored this area, as you can see. Uh, that's where my walkways were. And we've heard the stampede. We've never actually seen it, though. So we're going to kind of hang out down here somewhere. We'll place a waypoint right here, and yeah, we'll head over there. That's two kilometers away. Maybe we'll find something on the journey as well. Well, the road has ended, and uh, we are now on a very small trail. I think I'm going to get off of my ATV in a second here. I thought there was supposed to be is there a bridge around here. I know. Oh, we're actually... I guess this is technically the swamp right here. So this part down here, I thought it'd be water. It looks like it's all dried up, though, so that kind of makes sense. So yeah, moving forward, we're going to continue down this pathway here, kind of follow maybe the outside of this hill. I'm thinking this is really good stampede territory because they don't have many places to go. I think this hill's too uh, l large to climb. So we'll see what we can find down here, and uh, we'll keep our ears out because we'll probably hear them before we even see them. I found a family of warthogs. Now, warthogs are actually very skittish, so I'm surprised they haven't seen me yet. They did just change their direction. I'm wondering, should I go for this? We got another guy yelling down here somewhere. I was trying to actually look for him. And I think I found his family that he's trying to protect. Um, I did see one with some tusks there. Yeah, this guy right here. Very easy. They're really far away, though. I wonder if I should use my stand. Unfortunately, I don't have any lures for them. So I can't lure them to me. So this stand's going to be a little difficult to use, actually. Uh, we're going to try and actually get around this stuff. Once again, he's doing a warning call this time. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, this is why this stand's amazing. Getting that upward view is really, really nice. Now, I do have a rifle that I could take this guy down with. We actually got multiple guys here. Trivial, very easy. That's I think that's the biggest one I have saw. All the rest are trivial, so should we try and go for this guy? It's going to be a hard shot, even from this distance. Um, yeah. Got him. Okay, took a few more shots than I hoped for, but we did take him down. So let's go get this guy. Well, I found the warthogs again. The whole family of them is over there. What's that? I see something running. <gasps> is that wildebeest? Oh, did we get a herd? Oh, this isn't a herd. That's definitely... Oh, wait, wait. Wait. Holy crap. I think there might be a herd going on down there. Um, We got quite a few. It's actually coming towards me, too. Let's actually exit this. And see if we can go kind of intertwine with that. I don't hear it, though, so I don't think it's the actual stampede. Because you're supposed to be able to hear the stampedes. Um, well, there they are right there, and I just scared them away. Oh, my God, there is so many. And look at the warthogs! Okay, that's definitely a stampede. So, finally, I have seen at least the end of one. I, unfortunately, I, I ran over there, and I think I scared them back. But let's see if we can maybe be... But let's see if we can maybe follow these guys. I'm not going to take a shot. It's just too far away. I want to see if we can get close to these guys. Actually, before we leave, let's also grab my stands. Unfortunately, that warthog, I don't know how I lost it, but I've been looking for it for probably 10 minutes, and I can't even find a blood spot. So I saw it go down. I, I might I might have just knocked it down, though. Oh. oh, it's coming back. Oh, that sounds so cool. All right, how do I pick this up? There we go. We're going to pick that up. I'm going to head this way. We have to go pick up my other stand, though, but you can hear it now. You can actually hear the stampede. 
Okay, you know what? This is uh kind of where we saw the wildebeest, and look at this. Look at how high the tree stands can go. I had it up here for a second. There we go. So, oh, what the hell was that? Okay, I'm gonna put my tree stand up. Um, let's actually go up there. Something's grunting at me. And oh my god. Are they coming back? Am I gonna get this lucky? I hear them. They're right over this tree. Oh, this is so cool. I didn't expect the tree stands to be so high up. This is a great way to view. Can we actually look all the way behind us? Pretty much, yeah. So these are actually really easy to use. Unfortunately, this damn tree is still in my way. What grunted at me? There was something right here. Oh! Hey there! What's going on, Blue Wildebeest? Did you lose your herd, my dude? Oh, oh, don't start running, man. Don't start running. I might have to shoot you. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get to my right rifle here. He's just kind of hanging out. I'm gonna feel bad about this, but... Oh, crap. I should have changed. I, I expected him to die. Come on. Damn it! Oh, that one's probably gonna get away. All right, we might be able to track him, though. All right, well, we got his blood rate, or his blood trail. Bleed rate's very low. I don't think... I was using, I think, the wrong rifle. I think that rifle has um, some very low-powered bullets. So we probably should have changed it. We're actually at a very bad part of the map trying to uh, track things because of these damn bushes that are everywhere here. It's damn near impossible to try and follow a track unless you can actually start to find it. Like, for example, that uh, warthog couldn't even find the blood, so... If you don't have the blood, you generally can't follow it. I don't think this one's gonna die, but we'll follow it for a bit. Oh, do I see him? Where the heck? There they are! There's one running into a tree! It's amazing! Okay, yeah, I see them again. I scared them off, clearly. They're going up the mountain. I was gonna go back to get my tree stand. Uh, you can actually see... Oh, wait. This is Cape Buffalo. I could definitely go for the kill here. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he's clearly stuck on a rock. Uh, seems like animals do that a lot in this game. I wonder if I should try and go for it. I decided to, and he's still moving. That's unfortunate. All right, so back at the tree stand. Now, with the other stands, you can pick them up. I don't know if you can actually pick up the tree stands after you place them, which is weird because they cost a lot of money. I think they're like six grand. Um, same price as the tripod stands. I guess the benefit of the tree stands is you go even higher, but... I was examine track. What? Oh, it must be a track on the ground by me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like, because with the tripod stands, if we put one of these bad boys down, there's this little bag on the ground, and you just click the bag to pick it up. So, I didn't expect that. Unless, is there a bag up here? I don't think I saw. It's just the seat, and that's just how to exit it. So, yeah, I think once you have it up, you better have it in a good spot. This one isn't awful. Unfortunately, I'm looking at a tree, though. Uh, so if I would have known that, I wouldn't have threw this up, obviously, right here. Still a decent view, and I think you can have something like 90 stands on each map. So if you're a serious hunter, you could totally set up a map. Uh-oh. Is that coming to me? Oh my god, this, this sound of the stampedes is horrifying. Cause I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm going to get attacked or something. I have been attacked many times in this game. Anyways, we're going up to the hill where we hit that Cape Buffalo. I don't think I had a very good hit there, so I doubt I'm even going to see any bullet around here, but I thought we would check just in case. Not getting lucky with bagging them today, but hey, that, that's, what, that, that's what hunting's all about. Sometimes it's lucky, sometimes it's not. Oh, is this the start of it? I got one wildebeest here just kind of traveling. Look at this. Two, three, four. <gasps> They're not stampeding. Oh my god, they all just randomly came in. Oh, this is amazing. Are they coming my way? Oh. My. Freaking. God. This is exactly what I want. I think I got one really close to me, too. There's a lot clearly going on. I don't even want to kill them. I just wanted to experience the stampede. And... Goal complete! It's right beside me. They're gonna run right beside us. Okay, we're obviously gonna try and get one hit. It sounds like they're, like, right below me. This has got to be all them over here. All right, they might be running the other way, so we should probably go for a kill now. I just want to just appreciate this for a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're running back this way. These guys are the, are the stragglers. So, sorry, dude, but I do want to get a side shot, and... Oh, God damn it, right when he gets mine a tree. Okay. Got him, for sure. Oh, God, are they running back to me? There, he's down. Okay, I at least got a kill today. 
me see if we can get another one. Look at all of them. Holy crap. I don't, I'm not even going to go for a shot because uh, my tracking game hasn't been so hot today. So let's just appreciate that we got one kill finally. And <laughs> go get that one. Oh, that was the perfect setup, though. I bet if I wait here again, because this is a, a need zone, this is their water zone, they'll probably come back. So we're just going to confirm this trophy. That's exactly what I was going for. The, uh, Of course, the long up mostly, and we went through both of them. And, uh, yeah, complete kill. Female, not bad. We're just going to save that har harvest. We're not going to taxidermy it uh, just because it's a generic female. All right, there we go. Ah, oh, finally, finally we experienced the stampede. They weren't in full run, but it was cool to see the sheer size of that population. Oh, oh, hey, hey, the wildebeest are back. Okay, that usually means there's a lot more. Oh my god, where did you, where'd you all come from? Like, I'm looking around, and then they're all just here. This worked, though. Clearly they came back. What's up, dude? How you doing? Okay, let's actually look for a good one now. I just scared him off. Hopefully he doesn't scare the whole pack off because that wouldn't be good. Uh, very easy. I need a mythical. Give me a freaking mythical. No, don't go away! Don't go away, my friends! Oh, there's got to be a good guy in here. You guys are all miners. Where, where, where's the big old beast? They're probably at the front of the pack. That would make sense, actually. Uh, not going to go for a kill this time. They'll be back. I think they came over the hill. They saw me and they ran away. This is like spawn camping for hunting. They need their water and I'm just chilling here. Well then. That's convenient. Not sure where you popped up, but hey, I'll take it. And he's running. Come on. Well, at least he's slow. He's, he's a big, beefy boy. Come on, baby. D double hit, that's for sure. He did stop. Man, these guys are so hard to take down. All right, come on. Go, go through that tree. Oh, he died. Ha ha ha. Finally, I got something right. Okay, this time I'm not going to lose it. So it's northeast directly of where I am. We definitely got to use that compass because it, it reverts me around, and that's what makes it so confusing. Ha! Ah, but yeah, Cape Buffalo. It's been a while since we got one of those, so that feels pretty good. Well, I really hope I don't lose a Cape Buffalo body. That would be embarrassing, but already I'm getting a little nervous. He was right here. I swear he was right... Oh, God. Please don't tell me I lost another one. Now, oh, he's... Wow. See, this is how this is how directionally bad I am. I knew exactly where I killed him, and I went that far. Sideways. Ah, but there we go. This was considered a hard two, so I think we will taxidermy this guy because, I mean, look at the size of this sucker. How'd we do in terms of hits? All right, fle flesh, right scalpula, and right lung. And then your second one, man, I got him right in the butt, but I uh, didn't actually do anything on that one. So we got lucky that he went down 98% on the first hit. All right, so I've been, uh, what time is it in terms of the day? It's probably afternoon now. Yeah, 1229. I've been waiting here for about two in-game hours, which is like 30 minutes of actual real-life hours. At least I feel like it's that long. And that herd has definitely not came back. We had a random Cape Buffalo. Uh, so yeah, we're going to end it off here. Let's actually go back to our little mansion, though, and check out this Cape Buffalo. But yeah, I gotta say as well, these new stands are absolutely amazing. I'm actually surprised they didn't have stands in the game at the start just because of how common it is in hunting. Uh, definitely nice to have a better field of view. And yeah, it makes stationary hunting a viable choice in this game now, which is nice. Because don't get me wrong, I like walking around, but I do like sitting and waiting as well because then it feels like you're on a real hunt. All right, and here we are, back at our beautiful place. So let's, uh, where do we want to put this guy? I think we've pretty much done a lot in this room. Where'd my, yeah, I thought I had a multiple guys over here. I guess I changed that. But yeah, we got a few deer here. We still have, obviously, a lot to add to fill this place. It is freaking huge. There's my, uh, jackal, by the way, the one that I found. Actually, is that a lynx? Yeah, that that's definitely a lynx. So I guess the jackal, have I ever gotten a jackal? Now, now that I think about it, I don't know if I've gotten one. Uh, but yeah, we'll throw this guy here, place trophy. Oh yeah, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. And then when you're sitting here, you can just look at the butt. Because that's not weird. Let's actually see if we can change the pose. Yeah, these guys don't really jump up at all, so... Oh, there we go, at least that running pose, that looks actually pretty cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I like that one. And there we go, we got a Cape Buffalo, a decent Cape Buffalo in our manor now. So yeah, we're, like I said, we're going to wrap up this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the tree stand update. And we finally got to experience a stampede multiple times as well. So that was a really nice experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.